Hey curlies. So, I can't even lie you guys. I mean look, look at this. Look at this volume, this length. Okay, hey guys. Um, thank you for clicking on this video. I'm gonna stop you right here. If you haven't, please can you just click that little red subscribe, subscribe, subscribe button um, and give this video a thumbs up. I mean, look at this, you guys. So I won't keep you too long. This is my Bantu knots. Y'all already know I don't say Bantu because the right way to say it is Bantu, guys. I got no words so um yeah i'll just leave you to it enjoy this video i love it and by the way my hair didn't i didn't allow my hair to dry 100 percent so this is like maybe 90 percent dry so i wouldn't even know how to act if it was 100 percent dry Enjoy this video guys like subscribe share save do the things that you know need to be done thank you love you guys so i used the citrus wash day box to achieve this hairdo for cleansing i used the citrus shampoo that's infused with orange and grapefruit essential oils and then followed it up with the also creamy deep conditioner to pre pull I massage my scalp with the growth and thickening oil this is not in the citrus box and to style I use the lock method using the pineapple spritzer for liquid the shea butter to seal in that moisture and lastly the flaxseed lemon curl custard to define my curls. So starting on freshly washed hair, um, I obviously did my sections. I chose to do the knots on wet hair even though I know it takes longer to dry just because I know that the definition is much better when you work on wet hair. On dry hair the curls um, it's, it's quicker and it's easier but I just feel that the definition on wet hair is so much better. lock method as usual some liquid from the pineapple spritzer pineapple is um, so nice for hair because it's rich in vitamin C it adds shine and body to your hair and then I went in with the whipped shea butter to seal in that moisture I worked it through nicely it just absorbs and melts straight into your hair coating the liquid in And then finish it off with the curl custard. I did use the um, small comb because I wanted to make sure that there were no tangles. I wanted it to be as smooth as possible. And then I just wrapped it around. I didn't do it too tightly because I'm not prepared for headaches. So I just did it as secure as possible not too tight worked in i think medium-sized sections 
and just follow this same three steps all the way through So I had these in for about a day and a half and then I just want to go ahead and put some oil on my fingers to avoid any frizz. I love the smell of the clothing thickening oil and I went through and opened each knot individually first. Um, as I said previously, my hair was 90% dry but um, yeah, I wasn't too bothered or perturbed so I just carried on unraveling them. And that's that you guys um yeah 
um, I'm really happy with the shape as well um, remember I trimmed it not so long ago so I'm happy with the shape there are some if you look in the back there is a color too that's a little bit longer but that's one of those that didn't dry 100% so once it's dry it will shrink up again and I really like the volume and the curls overall it's not there's not much frizz as I said it was about 90% dry so if you manage to get all the way through to the end of this video thank you so much for watching please 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 subscribe and yeah have a good day enjoy guys